Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you a good exotic engram, prime engram farm in Destiny 2 Season of the Deep. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, I do have a huge announcement to make before we hop into today's video. I'm going to be doing a Lightfall giveaway. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Only subscribers can win this giveaway. Now, after doing that, all you need to do is comment your favorite exotic in Destiny. In this case, mine is Starfire Protocol. Unfortunately, got nuked. Um, keep in mind, you also have to put in the hashtag enter in the comment section. So, comment your favorite exotic and hashtag enter and you'll be in the giveaway. Which will be pulled when we hit 15,000 subscribers. Which is not that long from now. Anyways, let's get right into today's video. I've been playing Destiny for a long time. Exotics are a pretty common thing. A lot of people have a hard time getting exotics. That's why I'm here to help you. So, I have been farming exotics for a long time. Regardless if it's been Grandmaster Nightfalls, Crucible, or Legend Master Lost Sectors. Keep in mind today's Legendary Master Lost Sector is the Bay of Drowned Wishes. That is actually a really easy Lost Sector to do. Now, I have actually had a few subscribers reach out to me and tell me to make a video on this because apparently PvP is actually bugged and the exotic drop rate is somewhat glitched. So people are getting exotics every 5 out of 10 games they play in Crucible, which does make sense. I've gotten a lot of exotic drops throughout Crucible. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys just to go play Crucible and blah, 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 blah. That's the end of the video. I'm going to be honest with you. The best way you can farm exotics is through Grandmaster Nightfalls, Legend Masters, and stuff like that. However, there are some side things that you can actually do outside of playing endgame content that you'll just get over time from exotics. Keep in mind, you're going to get exotics from the Season Pass, um, stuff like that. In my last farm video, I showed how you can get exotics through free-to-play. Some people were saying it requires Shadow Keep. No, it does not require Shadow Keep. Look at this, I was just playing Crucible a little bit. I got a free exotic for literally just playing the game. Sounds kind of crazy, right? Now we can take this exotic from the ground, turn around, and head over to the Cryptarch. And then we get a exotic of our choice. We can either focus this or just get a random drop. In this case, I'm looking for some high stat armor. So all I'm going to do is focus something like Red War Light Decryption. We got Luna Faction Boots, decent. Let's check what the role we got. Oh, of course, I went to our Postmaster. Now, when you get an exotic engram, focus it at the Cryptar. You will get a high stack guaranteed roll. In this case, I'm going to be claiming all of our materials. We got a 63. This is a really, really good stat roll. It's focused on some good stats, so we'll be keeping it. Now, you can also rank up from all vendors when, you know, claiming exotics and stuff like that. Um, I did have a subscriber actually comment down below asking... Yo, Hectic, why for some reason is it that when I went to claim my exotic, right, um, it didn't say exotic and it was just a deep sight, or not deep sight, harmonizer, a, um, it said for him a ascendant chart, which is normal, that is completely normal. If you've never ranked up with a vendor before, that is why, and that's why I'm here to help you, fortunately. So if you ever have any problems with farming methods, please do not be scared to comment something down below. I will happily help everybody that I can get to in the comment section. Anyways, that's not the point of today's video. So, for those that actually don't want to, you know, do Grandmaster stuff like that, well, I'm going to be honest, really not much you can do outside of just farming things. One of my favorite methods is on the moon. Now, this is not going to be a go farm the uh, nightmare on the moon. I'll show you something else that some people don't know about. Also, if you've never used any of these... Um, Things. You can actually store them, which will give you in your Postmaster, or you can actually convert them into, I believe, if I'm not wrong, you can convert them into Ascendant Shards, or not Ascendant Shards, Enhancement Cores, which is useful, so, yeah. Your Season Pass also gives you a lot of exotics. So when we queue into the game, I'll show you where to go. So you're going to load into the mid. Just literally do not worry about where to go or anything like that. Just go exactly where I go. Take a left turn. Come all the way down here. From here, you are going to want to hop on your sparrow, go directly down here. Now, you're going to see a very familiar area. This area was actually introduced in the Shadow Keep DLC. Well, of course, the moon Shadow Keep, it all makes sense after all. 
you're going to see the Lunar Battlegrounds. Keep going, you're in the right direction. From here, you're going to see ads. Just run through them and go down into this little cave area. You can completely ignore all ads around here. Now, you may get really extremely lucky here and actually see a champion. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it does not. Anyways, in this case, it appears that I did not get a champion. Wow, I'm really sad. Okay, let's kill all ads right here. Make sure you have a gel on or something that's going to be really good for ad clear because to actually get the chance at a exotic here, um, you are going to make sure that you have, to have ad clear, which if you don't have ad clear, you are going to have a extremely hard time with this. So um, if you're newer to Destiny, just be aware. It might not be a easy area for you to wipe out. Now that we've done this, let's just wait for all the ads to group up and I'll show you my advantage shot. Like that. Going and then I'm just gonna run up with my sword for these guys. Because to be honest, you really don't have to worry about ammo reservants or anything like that here. Here we go. And just that easy, right? Now we're gonna reload, and after this wave, you're gonna have a boss that will actually spawn in. That's when this boss spawns in, you will have a shot at getting a bot. You can actually repeat this over and over and over by just going to the last checkpoint by fast traveling back to the solar harbor. And you can rinse and repeat over and over. I know this video may seem like self-knowledge to people, but remember, just don't leave hate. I'm just trying to help newer players. I know it can seem frustrating sometimes, but yeah. You know, just know there's no... I'm just trying to help newer players. Anyways, the boss spawned in. About one is an Augie's burden shot. We'll take him out. Or not one, but probably around like two or three. Let's shoot him. There we go. We're perfect. So let's use on average. So let's hold it's an Augie's perks prod. You can either kill all these guys or not. In this case, I did not get a exotic this time. Got some heavy ammo, but who really likes that? Unless you're in a grandmaster. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Leave a like, sub to the channel, have a great rest of your day, guardians, and stay safe. And check out our sponsor for today's video.